Hey YouTube, this is Airborne Guy 1999, and um, I'm doing uh, another video on my helmets. Hopefully, this one I can show you more because they're set up a little bit better. Um, so right here is my German helmet. Um, Airborne Boy 506 said it was. He commented and said it was a. M35, but someone else told me it was an M40, because they said an M35 right here, or not, they're not stamped in, or they're stamped in, not, like, made in the metal, so I'm not sure, um, you know, whichever one, if, when, next reenactment, I'll take it and see what most people say, so, the inside, pigskin, I'm pretty sure, this was like a little shoelace, because the other one ripped, like the little was, I think, I don't know what material it was, but yeah, I don't, this is just for display, shin strap is up right there, rim, kind of scraped up, I like my, when the rims, I kind of like the rims when the paint comes off, so, yeah, I just bought that one day, one day, because, I could. <laughs> um, here's a helmet that I'm sending to Airborne Boy 506 to redo your helmet. Um, I can redo helmets too. Um, so yeah. I'm just wanting to see how he does. Which, um, it has a few layers of paint, so I'm gonna have to get it, um, sanded before, um, I uh, give it to him, send it to him. So I just have this liner that I bought at the surplus store. It's really modern. It was like, it's not bad. This, I need to switch out. I need a new one of these. Um, just, uh, yeah, I gotta get the tools for Christmas, I guess. Oh, one sec. Nah. Now I gotta snap this back in. Whatever. Do it later. Um, got a sweatband. Uh, the leather strap, camel's pack, just, uh, they still sell, like, Walgreens, um, they still sell, uh, old, like, non-filtered camel packs, which had the foil, and, so, yeah, a uh, rear seam, uh, chin straps, rear seam, see, right, one sec, Find it first. There. There you go. Rear seam. Um, yeah, you can see that. Not the best one. Two of my two favorite helmets. Um, hmm. By the way, doing a video with a phone is really hard. So don't blame me if they're not, like, the best. I'm holding this with one hand, and it's not the easiest. So I have a Pacific book. It came with, like, papers, so I just put those in there just to make it look good. Um, these are, like, the little bubble gum uh, cigarettes. None in there. Just use this. And don't put your uh, cigarettes. No one put them outside on the helmet net because... Um, you're not going to be real camouflaged with the big red dot. Um, so yeah. This is a Westinghouse liner. I don't feel like I don't have any light to get down there. Um, wait. Yeah. It's 42 dated. Um, whatever this is called. Uh, like, yeah, you know. So, uh, this is redone by someone I know. I told you this on the last one. Met him and he restores helmets with the original paint. So he restored this one for me. Original paint and original steel pot. Front seam, one sec. Why is my finger? Front seam right there. Uh, I got the leather strap. So, yeah. Uh, it may be a mid war chin cup. At the front chin cup. Uh, yeah, they suck, so, A-frames, and strap, you know, all that, um, 
So yeah, usually I have a net on it. Oh yeah, 506, the spades. Um, usually I have a net. This on there, I just took it off recently. Um, so finally, I just got this the other day. I just, I did a separate video on it, just I deleted it because I wanted to do a better video on all my helmets and I just figured whatever. So, you know, as this, um, uh, it's like um, the Filthy 13, which is a group that went behind lines on D-Day and they just blew up a bunch of anti-aircraft guns and stuff. So just E, um, start to look up and read more on them. Um, what I asked for, thank God, I have so much scrim, wait. I don't know why I thank God for that, but, you know, whatever. I have so much scrim, and I swear it's like, when he does it, he kind of makes it tight, but what you gotta do, you just gotta kind of rip it apart, and uh, not or just like unravel it some of it, kind of just put your rubber hand over it, make it stick up. And she has stripe. Uh, this is original paint again. This was a navy helmet, gray. It's a... It's a German liner. It says Aust. Sorry about that. It's, it says Austria. The liner. Um, nineteen eighty-five. Um, so yeah, I guess it's a German liner. Maybe built. I don't know. It's plastic. I'll show you in a minute. But the I got a na It was gray, and it said show in big letters S H O W on the back. And I got it fr front seam. If I can find this. Uh, I would just say, you know what I mean, but I want to, like, show you guys. I'm not lying. There you go, front seam. Uh, the leather strap, but it was a navy helmet gray. And then the liner, I just, well, it came with a Vietnam liner, so I guess in Vietnam, it was just a navy helmet during Vietnam, because I think it was 1941 like, to 85, I want to say, that they just used, um, front seam. They didn't care if it was rear, front, post, or mid, or post, or, uh, war, or just World War Two. So, yeah, so the outside, a lot of scrim, my E, NCO bar, um, leather strap, at the front, everything's J. Murray except the first aid packet is at the front, so, uh, really good, um, so, yeah, see, this is the liner, this is Austria, like, right here. I don't feel like getting down there, so yeah. But it had like this webbing in it, and it came with it. It's kind of weird, so yeah. The only thing I'm missing is like if I can show you guys like this, it just comes off because it's missing like the little A or I think the A or something. I'll show you what it's missing. It's missing that. So yeah, I got the chin strap, J. Murray, pretty good. I got the green A frames. Uh, Great, J. Murray. I'm got. I'm ordering Top Pot. I'm just gonna order one of their chin cups to see how they are. J. Murray, definitely recommend it. At the front, do not recommend it. Um, to me, it looks like it. I have one, and it's here. One sec. Um, I'm just gonna have to put this down. Uh, or lay it against you. Sorry. One second. I'm gonna show you the comparison. Um, here we go. So, this is the comparison. That's that from the this angle, flat, and that's this from that angle. Um, so you can tell at the front's pretty shitty. Sorry to say, but it is. So, this, if you could feel it right now, it's extremely soft. Um, so yeah, it's got the webbing. I think it's, placed, or I think it's a World War II era wedding. Uh, I got my D-Day cricket taped on there. Um, you know, one and two and respond. So, um, so yeah, this is mm, my new favorite helmet. And uh, I'll give you. Hopefully, I'm. I asked Airborne Boy Five or Six to do a video on his helmets, or maybe just a video on when he does my helmet. So. Yeah. Um, thanks, comment, rate, subscribe, and Merry Christmas.